Hello everyone and welcome to Flickering Myth TV, an extension of the website flickeringmyth.com. My name is EJ Marino and today we're diving into a brand new revenge horror movie. Yes, we're talking about Becky. Oh boy, Kevin James from the movie Hitch and the TV show King of Queens is playing a neo-Nazi hunting down like a 13-year-old girl named Becky. What could go wrong? Surprisingly, not that much. For having such a bold, big plot like this that I thought would be super controversial, this movie is pretty straightforward, a standard revenge film. I have to say, from what Kevin James and actress Lulu Wilson did here, I am very impressed that they walked the line from bad taste to good taste very well, and it's such a fun little revenge film. Becky stars Lulu Wilson as the titular character Becky. I adore her in this film. Her character is joining her father, played by Joel McHale, at a lake house retreat. She is meeting his new girlfriend, kind of not for the first time, but really interacting with her. Her mother just passed away, and her dad's trying to move on. Uh, Becky's character is not ready to move on at all. She's a rebellious teen, stealing things, being a little bit more aggressive. It's really interesting to see her character start to come up at the beginning because it's juxtaposed by seeing uh, Kevin James's character, Dominic, escape from prison. This neo-Nazi Dominic is a disgusting person with a gang of people. They break out of prison and go on this journey looking for this key that happens to be at the lakeside cabin that uh, Lulu Wilson's character, Becky, and her family are at. This is where things meet up and it gets insane. When you break this down, this is a pretty basic revenge film. I like this genre a lot. It goes from back all the way to like, I spit on your grave, last house on the left, to even films like Taken. This has elements of all of that. We have our character Becky see what they do to her family and she says, oh no, we are going to get revenge. And the things Becky does in this movie are grotesque, violent, but they're almost cathartic for this character. She has so much aggression from losing her mother, from what happens to her father, to what these people are doing in general. She holds nothing back. And that's what I really enjoy about a standard revenge film, just together. I think they're really interesting to see this one character go through something so crazy and seek that vengeance for themselves. Go out and do it. I think this is always an interesting story to tell on film and having it be about a 13 year old girl is interesting. I thought they were going to go a more, uh, how do I say it, a uh, darker route with this, do more taboo things. Now they do hurt some animals. There is some violence against people of color. Like they do some pushy boundary things in here. I just thought it was going to go another level. About 40 minutes in, it got way more graphic, and I said, oh, this is the next level. The gore is that next level. I thought they were going to get kind of gross with some of the stuff that you would see, and I spit on your grave in films like that. They did not go that route. I am happy, but they did go a very gory and violent route, which shocked me. Like, there is a scene where someone loses an eyeball, and they have to get rid of it. Oh my goodness, I was like, oh, that was so gross. Did not expect that. But also all of the gore and violence sometimes is handled somewhat more lighter than it would from like another type of movie. Usually they're so dark and depressing. But with Kevin James running around, some of the gore moments, you're kind of like, I'm trying to not laugh because this is gross and serious, but like he's making it hilarious. It's something not to take away from him. We'll talk about him in a moment. But I think this film really balances that line between good and bad taste so perfectly. Perfectly. Now, some of the advertisement for this film has been kind of pushing the Kevin James as a neo-Nazi. Look at him in his first dramatic role. He does really good here. He's believable. He's gross. He scares me at times. Like I said, he can make me giggle and laugh because some of the moments just calls for that like, this is tense. I'm just going to go, ha <laughs> because that's tense. It's one of those kind of laughs. And I really do appreciate that. Kevin James does very good here. All the actors do pretty good. I'm not a big Joel McHale fan, but he's fine as uh, Becky's dad. He has a small role that does exactly what it needs to do. But the real star here is Lulu Wilson as Becky. Lulu Wilson is really that girl. Like, I saw her a couple years ago in Annabelle Creation, and I was just like, she is good. But after this film, I need to see her in more. She has big, bad movie star all 
over her. It's just something about the way she handles intensity when those violent kills come in. She's just yelling and grunting. It's so primal. It's so good. But then those sad, honest moments where she needs to act, even when she's just talking to one of her dogs, it's so important. She does such good work here. That is the one thing I took away from this. I liked the gore. I thought the plot was fun and basic. But something about Lulu Wilson's performance here sold me. It made me just know that I'm like, I'm in good hands with her as our lead actress. I am fine, and I feel that way going forward. Now she's one of those actors that when I see her name, when I see Lulu Wilson top build on something, I'm going to be checking it out because that's what Becky does out of anything. It proves we have another young female star on the way. Now, on a more technical level, I think the film works in multiple ways. I don't think the script is the most, like, inventive, like, groundbreaking thing. It's a fairly basic revenge plot. But what they do with a basic plot, they have some really interesting cinematography. The special effects are insane. There's a fire stunt near the end that I thought was really impressive. But my favorite thing I took away from this is the score. There's moments of the score that are so chilling that I want to go on Apple Music and try to find it immediately. The score is really really impactful. It kind of brings me back to some John Carpenter scores. I don't know, something about it just really stuck with me. Some of the cinematography was so gorgeous and I'm like, this looks great, but then that score would kick in. I'm like, okay, now this is a complete package. The movie really has it on a technical level that I was surprised about. I saw an indie film. I saw like Lulu Wilson and Kevin James who aren't the most A-list stars and I expected super low budget. Now this is a pretty low budget film, but they make it feel grander. They make it feel big and that's exactly exactly what you need to do with smaller independent movies like this. Like I said, on a technical level, I am really surprised Becky works for me on that way. Like I was like, oh, okay, here we go. No, this is a damn solid movie that I am surprised I enjoyed this much. All right, everyone, that is it for my review of the film Becky. What did you guys think of this review? What do you guys think of this movie? Let me know down in the comments below. I want to keep the conversation going. Let's talk about your favorite revenge films. Let me know which revenge movies you like down in the comments below. Subscribe to Flickering Myth because we make videos like this every single week. And give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. All right, everyone, let's talk about Becky down below. <laughs>